Hey guys, it is Thursday night. I'm here at the gym. It's called Export Fitness, and I'll show you a little bit about it. But if you're in the Alexandria area, it is pretty incredible. Um, this is just one of the floors, but got all kinds of stuff going on. I'll show you the stuff upstairs, great kitchen, and everything. So, but anyway, I'm here. I'm gonna do a uh, you know a semi decent hard workout. I have my boxing coach, Mark Henry, just got here. So I hit some pads with him and uh, start to get my weight down. Not, not not too bad of a cut, but got to start that process. Okay, what we're looking on right now is uh, the sauna room, and you'll notice there are a bunch of fighters in here cutting weight. Charlie, right there. I'm on the outside looking in. Uh, got about three pounds to go. It's about six hours before weigh-ins, and uh, he'll be good to go. A little sauna, a little cardio. Get the weight off, weigh in, and get ready to rock and roll for tomorrow. Tuning in uh, towards the end of weight cutting. Way into at four o'clock. Uh, Charlie, you can see. Just pretty much finished up. Same standard stuff as every time I make weight. So, a little bit of sauna, a little bit of exercise, a little bit of sauna, repeat, and uh, good to go. See you guys at weigh ins. Uh, hey guys, it's right after weigh ins. Just made weight. It's time to. Uh, uh, who's that? Hey guys, it's me. It's. Uh... 6.44, we're on our hey way. Hey guys, we're, it's we're, me, I'm on Charlie's shoulder. We're on our way to get some food at Tortoise and, the, and Hare, who who set up a nice after weigh-in party for us. Um, but unfortunately, Mike hey is guys, with me in the back me. seat with Amanda it's my lovely fiance, and Mark Amanda. and my father. So weigh-ins went well. Uh, Johnson made weight, which uh, I kind of expected him to make weight. So all went well, and now it's time to read out. Hey guys, it's me again. We're at Tortoise and Hare. For some after uh, playing food and festivities. It was a great turnout, probably had 30 or 40 people here, so it's been very, very cool. Um, we have some some loyal fans, the Matt Anderson, true, some, some new fans. Bit, everyone, um, we, we found this fella um, and that fella. Any, anything to say for the camera, Matt? Hey, it's Spaniard Nation's taking over DC. One yeah. nation on your Spaniard. That's a nice. Hey, what oh, are you, yeah. What are you drinking? That's how I see light. It's a Pittsburgh bird beer. <laughs> <laughs> so everything's going well, just hanging out. Uh, see so you guys. Tuning in the morning before the big fight, and uh, Charlie's doing some agility training. He's brought in a little friend here who is uh, causing him to work on his footwork because Anthony's going to keep trying on his toes tonight. So, go through. Hey guys, it's me. It's uh, just about 3 o'clock. We head downstairs at 4.30. So, we're just sitting up here in the room. I got a little workout in earlier. I uh, feel good physically, mentally. Everything's on. So, it's kind of uh, it's, all, the, all the hard work's done. It, it, I guess it's my fate. You know, uh, that will be done is, uh, you know, it's out of my control. So, Hanging here with uh, Amanda. Hi. My brother is over there. Hello. And we ben are we are all feeling very confident, and you can tell that a little Josie, who made the trip, who made the trip with us down to uh, DC, is feeling pretty confident as well. So we'll see you guys when we go. Just got here to the arena, guys. It's about 5:15. Um, my uh, one of my helpers here is carrying the banner talking <laughs> so we got a little bit of a uh, little bit of relaxation time then it'll be time to get taped up and uh, why hey did, guys why do you owe me lunch because I was wrong you heard it here first Got the call heading to towards the, the entrance. We'll tune in when we're walking out to the cage. The Still here. 
to just know. Entering his bout with Dan Hart, Anthony Johnson had it in all five of his UFC go. wins by knockdown. But against the Book of the title challenger, Rumble revealed his underrated wrestling skills. Tonight, he said he's bringing the power back. Let's go, this go. is not going to be a good one. Scott came in, swing for his dances. Just getting around to finishing up the blog. I've been going crazy the last couple of days traveling and, and doing some little odds and ends. But you know, I wanted to give you guys an honest assessment of everything. Obviously, the fight did not go as planned. Um, you know, it's something with this business that uh, you know you put all this work, time, effort, money, miles, anything you can think of, and uh, you never really know the outcome of, of what's going to happen. And that's unfortunately unfortunately part of the game. Um, you know. I don't even know what to say. Um, it just it didn't turn out my way. Um, he was the better man that night. You know that that's kind of all there is to it. To be honest, I, I put everything I could into it. I uh, I have no regrets. I have nothing I would have done differently. You know, it's easy after a defeat like that to maybe point the finger and say I should have, I should have. But I mean, to be honest, it was just it was his night. It wasn't mine, and unfortunately, that's a part of competition. Um, it's hard this week, you know, kind of waking up with nothing to do, realizing that she just lost, you know, pretty badly. Um, but, uh, you know, that's that that's the high that I felt with story. You know, this is the the, the converse, you know, this is the uh, this is the low that I feel with this fight. And, you know, it's easy to question everything and and um, not want to do it or is it worth it, et cetera, et cetera. But. When it comes down to it, this is what I am. This is what I do. And, uh, you know, after a, a day or two of sulking and eating five guys and um, McDonald's and hoagies and Pepsi and all that stuff, um, starting to kind of get a uh, get a second win. So I want to thank everyone that uh, helped out along the way. You know, obviously to, to be able to fight in the UFC is a pretty awesome thing. It's literally a dream come true. Um you know, all my coaches, AMA Fight Club, my strength and conditioning coach, Don Messing, my uh, boxing coach, Mark Henry, all of my sponsors, um, whom I want to sincerely thank. I wrote them down. Clinch Gear, thank you guys for the awesome shorts. Microtech, Tony, you do a ton for me and a ton for uh, the, the whole fighting community. The Iraq, Afghanistan veterans of America who, you know, their cause, unfortunately, I wasn't able to give them a shout out. But sorry, guys, I'll do my best through this kind of stuff. But they help a great cause with the, uh, the war veterans coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan. Tortoise in the Hare for uh, down in Arlington for the awesome after weigh-in party. We all had a blast there. Biodiagnostic Labs for all my blood work. Um, Owl's Tavern um, back home in PA. I hope the viewing party was a success, and I'll be there to do a meet and greet in the near future. In Motion Meals, thank you, Ben and Carlo, for helping me stay healthy, helping me eat healthy. Um, and uh, again, I just want to thank all you guys for all your support. It's never fun on this side of the game, but you know that's the uh, that's the, the ugly truth of, of competition. There's a winner and there's a loser. Last Saturday I was the loser. Uh, you can bet your damnness that I'll get back on my horse, and next time I'll be a winner. So thank you guys all for your support.